What's going on guys, Mr. Enforcer, welcome back to another video, and today we're going to continue the Illinois Dynasty here against Washington. Uh, this could be a really tough game, as you see, they're number 9 in the country at their place, and they're 3-1. and one. So far, we're coming off a loss against Iowa, so we will see what we'll have to do against Washington. Of course, here is the team stats and everything. I'm um, just looking at some of the stats, we are top five and three out of the four defensive categories which is cool um their defense is not close although they do have a way better offense than us so it will be interesting to see how they fare of course here's their visiting prospects for them here's the top players for their team as well and here's our top players for our away team injury report we have none they have a couple injuries and let's get it Washington is bringing it. Husky Stadium is rocking. Literally, you can feel the vibrations in the stand. Now it's up to the men in purple and gold to make sure that their visitors bow down to Washington. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Washington and the Cascade Mountains. We're at Husky Stadium for today's game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste at zero calories. Enjoy everything. Here we are to start the game against Illinois in Washington. Kickoff goes to Washington as we are underway. Here is Robinson. So go all the way down to the 33-yard line as they'll take over on downs. First and 10, Jackson. Pass over the Robinson as he converts to nice easy first down for a gain of 10. Nice it's third and two now. Pitch to the running back. He trucks a guy, but they will not get it. And it'll be a loss of two and be fourth down. Second and 11. Foster, he's going to get sacked on the play. Bring up third down. Here we are on third down. Play action. Foster. Staying in the pocket as he runs out as he will have enough for the first down and more all the way down at the 34 yard line Third and 18 now after a sack here's Foster escapes the pressure. He's gonna get another one He fumbles it on the play Fumbles it recovered by Williams as he brings it all the way into the end zone for the Washington touchdown And here is the extra point. It is up and good for 7-0 Second and nine here for Illinois. Pass to Campbell. Here's Campbell on the right side of the field. Here he goes to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, the 5, the touchdown for an 83 yard touchdown by Josh Campbell. And a beautiful pass from Foster as they score and connect first. 7-7 seven seven game. Jackson's going to get sacked on the play. That sack was by Sanchez. Here they go again. Hands off the Ward as he gets nothing. Good play there by Brian Ward. Third down here. Jackson. Throws it. Completes it to a guy for 24 yards. Third and six. Ward's going to miss the sack. But Curry comes in for the sack on the play and bring up fourth down. First and 10. Play action. Foster over the right. As he gets trucked on the play. 
First and ten, play action. Foster. Throwing it deep as he drops it. Would have been a possible touchdown. Third and seven here now for Washington after a three and out. And he's going to get sacked on the play. That sack was by who else but Brian Ward of the Fighting Illini. Second and seven, play action. Foster. He got a guy all the way down inside the 20. A beautiful pass to Ernest Parker. Here we are on first and 10, Foster. He's going to escape the pocket, running again. Goes all the way for a 10-yard rush and picks up the first. Here we are, third and one. Is Quinn's not going to get it, and it'll be fourth down. They choose to go for it. Play action. Foster passes to Denman as he will convert the first down. First and goal. Touchdown is Glenn Quinn. And he gets his best play of the game as he gets a one-yard score. Third and 13, Jackson. It's going to be a screen to Ellis. As Ellis will not get a first down, it'll be fourth down as Illinois calls a timeout. After a quick Illinois three and out, here's Jackson on first. That pass is intercepted by Parman. Here we are, second and 10. Foster. He's just going to go with three and hope he catches it. It's Carter. And he will score the touchdown as Carter as Illinois scores right before the half. And that will be it, folks, as we will be going into halftime with a score of 21 to 7. Illinois leads number seven, number nine, Washington. Presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. Steve Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Halftime of a game that has been a pass rusher's dream. I lobbied to get the cameras to try to follow these offenses into the locker room. If I had to guess, without benefit of having that camera, I would say that the quarterback is leaning over to the offensive coordinator and going, Psst, hey coach, Max Pro. Max protect all that. I think it'll work. Yeah, we need some extra guys in to, to help keep me upright. And you know, listen, this, this is—it's always a team thing. I know it sounds silly, but it's not always on the offensive line. I mean, quarterbacks come up the line of scrimmage, they see the blitz. Receivers need to know when they're hot. They need to get the ball out of his hands in a hurry. So the running backs need to work together to pick up the blitz when it comes. And so it's going to be a team effort. But I definitely think it's more: let's get the ball out of my hand a little bit quicker. Get it to the playmaker, some quick screens, some quick tunnel passes. And then when you do take those shots that are slow developing, yeah, how about a little max protect? Keep a tight end in the ball game, keep a running back in the block. So I have time to take a shot down the field. Just about time to start the second half. What, what do you think Herb Street first point of analysis will be? Uh, I don't know, something to do with quarterback play, I'm sure. I mean, we always got to hear that stuff all the time. It's all about the quarterbacks. <laughs> Brad and Kirk ready for the second half. Here we are as they will just take a knee as the upset is now 100% complete as Illinois comes into Washington and gets a huge victory over the number nine team in the country. It is Illinois' second victory over a top 15 team and the second victory, of course, over a ranked team this season as they beat Michigan State last time as they beat Washington this time with a score of 21 to 10. The final score is Illinois improves to four and one on the season. All right, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, reason I didn't show um just any anything in the second half was because the final score was 21 to 10, and the end of the first half was 21 to 7. So I didn't want to show just punt after punt. <laughs> and, you know, that's it's one of the first times I ever did this on my channel. So uh, that's why you didn't see any of the second half um, just because of that. The first half had literally the whole entire game, basically, which was cool. Um, so looking here at some of the stats here uh, defensively, and I guess I'll just talk about the game real quick. Um, man, a fantastic game by Foster. He had accurate throw after accurate throw. He amazed me 
and some of the passes he was able to do. Now, you didn't see in the second half, but there was one second half play where I did throw an interception with him because, you know, I kind of have to throw an interception in these football series. There's not a series anymore. <laughs> um, but, yeah, he did throw a second half interception. But some of those passes, man, like that pass to Carter towards the end of the second half, that beautiful pass to uh, Parker, you know, the, the set up the second touchdown of the game by Quinn. You know, uh, the Campbell one was all Campbell. It was a beautiful pass to Campbell and how he was able to uh, run on the right side of the field and score 83 yards just after Washington scored that opening defensive touchdown. And that was actually one thing I was kind of nervous about, too, was I seen that play you know, unfold and we fumbled it and they returned it for a touchdown. And I'm thinking in my head, really, this is how we're going to start this game? Do I, do I even get a chance so we're just going to start this dumb stuff, you know, that early? But, man, we did a fantastic job in the second half, only allowing three points against the number nine team in the country. So a fantastic game, man. Washington, they were a, um, a no-huddle offense for the most part. Like 90, I'll say 97% of their plays were a no-huddle offense where they didn't, uh, you know, do anything slow. They're a really quick-paced team. And our defense responded well against them. And we did a fantastic job against them. Their quarterback didn't run like crazy against us. Like, I was kind of nervous when I seen uh, some of the stats and how he's like an 80, 90 speed, which kind of made me nervous. But we did a fantastic job against them. Uh, Quinn didn't have a good game. That's why you don't think you've really seen many Quinn highlights other than one or two. Uh, he kind of struggled, as you've seen. But you know, hopefully we get a bounce back week next week with him. So he had two straight weeks of uh, just struggling offensively. Uh, last week against Iowa and then this week against Washington. All right, guys, of course, here's the top 25. As you've seen, after one of the uh, scoring plays, uh, when they do the update studio mid-game, um, that Virginia Tech did lose. So here's Ohio State's schedule. Uh, okay, they did lose to Virginia Tech. Okay, that's who they lost to. I was curious who they lost to in this. I'm like, who, who, why would Ohio State lose a game against these nobody midget league schools they usually play at the start of the year? Wisconsin. Okay, we do play Wisconsin. Okay, any more Big Ten teams I see? There's Virginia Tech. They lost by a point. That's a yikes. Uh, Michigan State. Only losses to me. <laughs> Washington, this course. Um, and, of course, your man right here. Number 23, first time finally ranked on the season in the whole dynasty mode. So, I'm super excited um, that we're finally ranked. We do play uh, Nebraska here um, relatively soon, two weeks from now. That's gonna be that's gonna be a tough game, but yeah, man. Uh, finally ranked. Finally, as you see, here's the teams who received other votes, and of course, the teams that got dropped out was a couple. Uh, honestly, in my opinion, we should be over Washington and Michigan State. I mean, we did beat both of them. Um, checking into the conference standings, of course, we are number two at one and one in the conference. Of course, your normal record doesn't matter. It's all about conference, and somehow Rutgers is still undefeated. Um, Indiana, who, if you've seen something interesting about them, we'll talk about later. But looking ahead at every other um, conference here, see, uh, there is the Conference USA. I'm just going to scroll through these in case you do um, care to see about these. Um, I'm going to scroll through them relatively quickly. So if you want to see and look through an in-depth uh, thing at that, feel free just to pause it and um, to look at it there. Uh, here's the Mac, of course, the East and the West. So you got the Mountain West, uh, Boise State. Dang, they're only one in three. That's actually kind of surprising. They're one of the last place teams. Here's the Pac-12. Of course, we did just beat um, Washington. They're number six, actually. Uh, Oregon and Sanford, two teams I played last year. Who I don't want to play anymore for a while. <laughs> um, Florida, they're two and four. That's kind of Florida's fallen off, man. They used to be the Alabama of the schools, and then they just dropped since, like, Tim Tebow left. Here's the ACC, of course. Atlantic and Coastal Conferences. The American Conference. They have some pretty cool teams in that one. Here's uh, Division A and B, and, of course, finally, the Big 12. So let's go ahead and go to the Heisman Watch and see. Okay, we have someone new. Hold on, timeout. Justin Davis is ahead of uh, uh, Johnny Menzel. Holy crap, that is crazy. Too bad, uh, I want Brian Ward to get on there. He's having a fantastic season. I think he's already at 10 or close to 10. Um, of course, here's our season lookout. 
um, or Outlook. Uh, they have us doing better next season because of how uh, well we've been doing this season already, which is cool. Um, players of the week, are we going to get someone from us? Uh, nope. Uh, Texas Tech's quarterback and then Pittsburgh's cornerback. So shout out to them, I guess. Um, looking ahead, toughest places to play. We're on like a four game home streak. So we should go up. Last time, I think we we're rather 49 or 50. That's kind of been our range as far as like we're ranking. Feel free to policies if you're curious about who went up and down. Uh, oh, we dropped 52. Okay, we dropped the 52. That's interesting. So, as you see, next week we'll be playing host to Indiana. Last year we had an amazing shootout against them, so we'll see what we can do this year against them. Um, if I remember last year, they were just like Washington and they were a no-huddle offense. That should be interesting to battle against them. Their quarterback ran all against us. I think we did end up winning like 35 to 31 or something. So if you guys want to see that, make sure to go ahead and drop a like and leave a comment down below. If you're new, hit the big red button and subscribe. And hit that bell next to it for post notifications to let you know every time I do upload a video. And the link in the description below, there's links to the playlist as well as my social media pages. I do tweet out every time I do upload a video. And check the link in the description also for links in my playlist because I do post on other channels outside of this one. Every Every single day as well. So without further ado, man, I hope to catch you guys next time. Deuces.